So today I'm going to be talking to you about carbon sequestration, okay? And the question I'm always asked is, what is carbon sequestration? And a lot of people think it's a lot of different things. But essentially what it is, is the capturing of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and the locking it either in soil or in trees or in hedgerows or in any sort of woody biomass. So today, now I'm going to go through the process by which carbon sequestration occurs. Okay, so here now we have three examples of soils from very different land uses. So first of all, here we have a soil from a peatland. Here we have a soil from a grassland, a mineral grassland. And here we have mineral soil from a cropland. The obvious difference you can see between these three soil types is the colour. You can see the peat soil is much, much darker than the two mineral soils here. Okay, so if we look at the three soils, um, the, the darker the colour, uh, the more carbon within them. So the peat soil here has about a thousand tonnes of carbon per hectare. The grassland mineral soil, about 200 tonnes of carbon per hectare and the uh, arable soil, about 80 tonnes of carbon per hectare. And the other obvious difference between these soils is the structure and, <coughs> excuse me, the texture. So if we look at the arable soil, you can see it's quite strand, sandy, quite structureless. There's uh, no real uh, or not too many macro aggregate, large aggregate structures in there. Um, if we look at the mineral soil, much more crumbly texture, much better texture, um, and a lot of soil aggregates. And again, if we go to the peatland soil, a much, much lighter soil, much, much more full of organic matter, um, and much, much richer in carbon. <laughs> 